Hi, Cheryl Locke here for HotBlogTips.com and in this video I'm going to show you a very easy to use screen capture if you're using a PC with Vista, Windows 7, or Windows 8. Okay, here we are, and I'm on a Google Plus page where I reshared a post by Yvonne Hyman and Susan Finch of GeekSpeak. Now, if we scroll down, we're going to see they have a cool little picture, and I'd like to get a snapshot of this. So what I can do is, on this one, I'm on Windows 8. I'll go to my apps. I happen to have it marked right here and saved because I use it so often. But if you don't, you can go up to the search type in snipping tool and it should pop right up if you're on vista or windows 7 you would go way down to the corner to your start button and do a search you'll also have it so i get my snipping tool and it'll pop up just like this i have some options now that i have it of course i want a new one now i can do freeform snip and to do a freeform snip it's going to show a little pair of scissors and I can draw out what I want snipped. Now, if you're great at drawing with a mouse, this might just be for you. As you can tell, it's not for me. But here is my snip that I made freeform. That's one way to use it. Another way I can do it is go rectangular, which is normally what I do because I'm just not cool enough to draw. You're going to get a little X. You're going to draw and make that rectangle exactly what you want your snip of. Now there's my snip right there. Nice, clean and clear. Now we're going to try again. Now here's where you can do a window. If you run multiple screens, you get to pick which window. So I'm going to pick this one here. And there it is. There's my snip. And I'm not real thrilled with those because they're so huge and usually have a lot of stuff we don't need. So let's try the other one, which is also a problem. Full screen snip. There it did full screen. If you run multiple monitors, you're going to see here I've got my top monitor, my center monitor that I'm using to video, and there's my other monitor. So if you just do a window, you're going to get her up full screen you're going to get all of your monitors if you only run one monitor you're probably good to go so let's do this in a civilized form and do a rectangular snip here I am I'm going to do my rectangular snip now once I have this what I can do is go up here to the pen and I have a choice of red blue black so let's use the red pen Say I want to point something out to the ladies about their image. I could use the pen and I could go down here and I can circle something. Or maybe someone asks which one's Yvonne. I can draw an arrow. And who is Susan? She's got the blue hair. So I can draw on this very easily. Otherwise, if I have something I want to point out, I can use the highlighter. I can highlight any part of it just that easy. If you've highlighted or drawn something you don't want, take the eraser and click on it. And as long as you haven't saved it, you're good to go. To save it, you simply go up to File, Save As, and it's going to be named Capture. You're going to want to rename it. And we'll just name it something simple. Pick your file format. You have PNG, JPEG, HTML, or GIF. No, it's not GIF. GIF is peanut butter, so I have GIFs. But I'm going to go ahead, pick my file format, and click Save. And now it's saved. Now, this will work on any type of page. Here I am on daily motion I can do the same thing get my snipping tool move it out of the way click new draw and there I am 
if you have anything going on a web page that you want to show your tech support which is what Yvonne and Susan were talking about in that post I can do the same thing on here what's cool about this is it also works in programs so here I am in my video scribe I'm going to clip my snipping tool grab it I'll bring it up here so you can see it I'll go new and if I want to make a picture so I can share it about one of my sparkle videos I've made there I am just that easy and then I just save it name it save it draw on it whatever you'd like now like I said if you are on Vista or Windows 7 you will have a start menu here down in the lower left when you click it you will come and get your search to pop up over here. I'll see if I can jump on one of the other computers and show you real quick where that is. Okay, here we are on, if you're on Windows 7 or Vista, you're gonna come down here to the corner, the left corner, click Start. You're going to type in Snipping Tool. It should come up with just Snipping, but if it doesn't, go ahead and write out Snipping Tool. There it is. And it should just pop right on up. There it is. And we are going to use this exactly like we did on Windows 8. So if you're on Vista or 7, you can also use this cool built-in tool. So I hope this helps so that when you need tech support, when you have something cool you want to send to someone off a web page, show them a mistake, Got a problem, you name it, you can do an easy screen capture with a tool that comes on your machine. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon.